Hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Eco. This week, I'm joined by Mafki. Uh, S'more is incommunicado. We don't know what happened to S'more. So uh, it's just Mafki and I. Uh, so we're going to make him a builder's hut as well. Um, we've gotten a few people who are interested in playing with us. So as soon as we kind of get things a little more squared away, and I'd like to get potentially, well, we'll see how quickly they're going to drop another alpha. Uh, but then we're going to draw the names out of a hat for those people who are interested in playing with us. And then we'll be recording, uh, just so you guys know, we generally record on Saturday nights um, at around 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's kind of a time that kind of works. So if you are interested and you want to play with us, that that time would work for you. Then drop, a, drop us a note on one of our channels and uh, we'll welcome you aboard. We'll have two slots and uh, together we will avert disaster from, I can't remember what I call it, Amber? Was it Amber? Amber, yep. Yeah, Amber. Amber. Where is Amber? I don't see Amber yeah. out there right now. Amber is out. Amber's gone. Amber, Amber, where are you? Amber must be on the other side of the planet right now. Ah. Uh, all right, so you got your tools? Typical. Uh, I've got some tools. I've still got a few um, lined up. Oh, right. there's my hammer. And uh, the crops are still growing. Uh, yep. Matthew, Matthew was good. He's been doing uh, research on the forums. And these brown splotches are just a growth stage. So it'll come, take a while before they pop out. Yes. All right, so, so do you... First things first is we need to get some extra logs because, uh, like Rongo said, we are going to do another builder's hut, uh, mainly for efficiency purposes because we're all waiting on each other's build uh, stuff. Um, and as we progress, we are going to need more stuff. So we need to uh, get some wood. Yep. So do you want to go uh, north up here to the this pile of trees I see, or do you want to go south-ish sure. Um, oh, I lost you. There you are. Oh, yeah. Go um, your way. Yeah, this way. All right. So let's the head past s'mores. Really up. Really loud. What was that? The music is really loud. Yeah, it it is, and there's really no adjustments yet for it. So. No. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna mow every other tree down. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, if you leave the tree stumps next to uh, fully grown uh, trees, my tree glitched. Oh. oh, it was stuck in a different tree. I was just about to say, if you leave a tree standing next to a tree stump, it apparently uh, causes the uh, cut tree to grow back faster. Oh. I don't that... know why. It doesn't make sense, but that's that what I heard. Okay, that tree is kind of odd. This tree's got like a little lump on the side of it. It's kind of odd. Well, well they all do. Perfect. It's just a branch. Ah. Rabbits everywhere. So our goal in the next uh, couple episodes here is to get the builder's hut done for Mafki and then start working as well on the archery shop or archery uh, cabin, I guess. Yep. And then that will let us... Um, get rid of the rabbit nuisance. You really, yeah, and also get us some meats, which will hopefully be a better source of uh, calories. Ah, I lost my tree. Tree down! Uh, it's bobbing in the floor. Uh. And where's my log? Oh, the animals are starting to die. No! It's only been one day. day it's, it's three o'clock on day one, so... Yep. I should have taken a note of what I think the house is like at 250, 200, uh, something like that. Give me two seconds. I need to adjust my sound volume because uh... the chopping's too much. No, the music is too much. Uh, ah. It was drowning out your voice. All right. And if I can't hear you, uh, no one on the video can as well. <laughs> so. Oof. All right, I'm uh... So I've got about 55 uh, logs, which should get us started. Yeah, I've got uh, 66. I'm going to get two more trees, and I'll call it good. 
Oh, there's Amber. Ah, she's coming for me. So, uh, food-wise, um, I don't think we actually can use the meat as food uh, until we have a butcher shop. So it's going to be a few tech steps still. Yeah, because we can do a campfire, but it still leaves the food as inedible. Um, and I don't know why, but, yeah. Alright, I'm on my way back. And I, I do have to say, I really like this game. Um, it's just a little bit clunky, but that's because it's an alpha. Yeah, I mean, it's the very first build, so... Yeah. You'd expect I mean, a few bugs. Yeah. Well, it's not really a bug. Um, you know, when you're chop chopping a tree, you only have to hit the block once. And then it doesn't work, of course. Okay. Um, to make it... Uh, um, Go away, so to speak. Yeah. Um, but you can also just keep ha hacking at it, but that won't have any effect. And if you do that while building, keep hacking, you might take out multiple layers. All right, I have got a bunch of lumber, so you'll need to start your your sh your uh, foundation. Uh, I'm going to start the foundation for the uh, archery. Okay. Shop. Uh, are you where do you want to build your um, builder's hut? By the river. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do it adjacent to you, your guys. Is uh, don't mind. Oh no, that's, that's good. That. I'm just trying to think if if there's enough space behind. There's space on the other side, uh, right next to the uh, sawmill. Right, right, like right here. Well, I could you? utilize this uh, spot. I don't know if it's deep enough, though. Uh, I think it is. Uh, plus, I can use your uh, side wall. I'm just going to connect it to your building, uh, and that way uh, it'll ah. save me some logs. Well, that'll, if it'll work, that'd be cool. Uh, it will. Okay. You, you've actually had a little more experience building than I have, so... Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the archery center down here on, the, on this end. So I need blueprints, and I need Hunter's Lodge. What happened? Area 16 is what I need. Uh, my uh, thingy didn't show up. My workbench station. That's here. Yeah. Here I am coming into this game and being all, oh, I'm gonna do this and I know how to how this thing works. And then first thing I do is uh, not working. There we go. Apparently, if you place uh, your your pivot that turns into a workbench, uh, if you place that on top of grass, uh, it doesn't place. Yeah, I'm, I just had that same problem. Well, actually, yeah. but it's not placed it at all now for some reason. Hmm. My marked area is good, but it's not letting me place the... All right, let's abandon that and try it again. We're abandoning all hopes. Oh, yes. I'll try to make this a little bit... Yes, there we go. That. Maybe. And fill this in as well. Huh. Yes, there you yeah, go. Yeah, it is not letting me put my uh, point down. It's not good. Mark area eight of sixteen. Maybe it needs to be even bigger. Oh no! Um, nope. There sometimes, it goes. Uh, yeah. Sometimes if you um, step out of the white area while while um, uh, finishing the the bottom row, it will uh, rethink the amount of space you're using. 
and that causes it to not understand it's the proper size. All right, so this needs to be made out of structural lumber. And I happen to have some structural lumber. Ah. Now, what I haven't tried is if I leave a window behind my workbench, if I can access the workbench from through the window outside of the building. Hmm. That's a good uh, wonderment. Come on, please. <laughs> ah, it's not letting me. There you go. Okay, now it's gotta... Building, building, building. I'm, ex <laughs> I'm excited as well to, to, to get the uh, legislative stuff going and see exactly what you can do with that. Where we can propose the rules for how the world gets built. Yeah, so uh, for the viewers, the way that works, I don't know if you guys already went in in depth on that. No, we haven't um, yet. So, but um, for instance, as you could see, we were tr chopping down a lot of trees, um, and that's fine because we need wood. Uh, on the other side, if uh, on the other hand, I have to say, um, if we do that too much on the same location as we did just now, so we're, we already didn't do that um, in a very great way. Um, anyway, uh, if you chop all the trees in the same location. Uh, the animals will start to die because you're destroying their habitat. Um, so you can propose a law or a legis legislation uh, stating that you can only cut so many trees on a specific area. Um, same with you can only kill uh, one bunny a day or, or two bunnies a day. Um, so everybody can um, just play the game. Um, but within certain limits, so you don't. And they, yeah, and they aren't all. hard limits either. There, there are limits that I mean, oh, you, you have to agree the law, to them. Yeah. Well, that. But once they're in place, you can also decide to uh, disobey them. Yep. And if you do disobey them and you're caught, then you can um, be held accountable for that, and even even banned from the game, basically, if the players decide. Banned from the server, yes. Banned from the server, yeah, not the whole game. It's a little bit finicky with the building, because sometimes it's not acknowledging my uh, building yeah. directions. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Whoop. Well, as, as long as you fiddle around long enough, it, it'll eventually work. And I, one thing for the for the user interface side that you need to get working is um, the messages that pop up. Oh you yeah, need to you're be in, in a smaller this, uh, area. Yeah, and and the and the spamming of messages. I mean, if you go stand on top of a roof, for some reason it has the uh, inclination of telling you what where you are every two seconds. Yeah. So look at that list on my uh, on my left of the screen, guys. This is me just walking over a roof. But hey, it's still fun. Um, oh, now we also... Uh, there's a bit of an issue, I don't know if you've run into this yet, um, where if you are... If you're trying to process more than 64 logs... Yeah, uh, it, might, it might just leave it at 64. Yeah, you might lose some items, so... Yeah. Why is my building not enclosed? Or why do rooms? I not have any rooms? Can't I have a free white window? Oh, there you go. No. Maximum window size is two. Oh, okay. okay. Finish building. Yay, got my workbench done. So, let's see if we can access that. 
from outside of the workshop? Yes, we can. So you can either walk in through the front door or access it from the uh, window in the back. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to order up 30 more of those. Ooh, I already... really like the workbenches. Yep, they're looking good. I would I would hope that Seven Days to Die's uh, new crafting table thing is somewhat like this, where you can just you know queue up items to build and. Yep. Uh, um, let's see. Oh, it takes so long to make structural lumbers. Yeah, but once you get uh, the skills for it. As in, let's see, what's that? Yeah, I'm I'm training it right now, but yeah, woodworking. Uh, it will just pop them out uh, six at a, a six in one second. No. Uh, are you doing a, a proper roof on that, or uh, just the, the the horizontal beams? Uh, I'm gonna try and go for a proper. Ah, want want my help with that? Or... Yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. uh, maybe I didn't give you. Uh... Let's yep, look at my I deed can. here. My deed. There you go. You now have access. I was going to crank out some roof segments. Ah, to the doorway. <laughs> um. Okay, I got to order more. Do I need that for anything else? Not sure yet. We'll cut more trees when we need it. Um, yeah, I've got 46 more logs left, so... Okay, yeah, I just converted my last 16 logs into planks. All right, and as soon as I have... I do have some of those, so... I'm going to start making some wood roof bits. Okay, awesome. Let's see, I need... Uh, don't know how many I need, so I'll make... 20. Uh, let's see. You need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I lost count. 1, <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 42? Seven by 6. 42. Oh, there's that message spam again on my, uh, <laughs> on my screen. Yeah. Uh, let's see, can I do anything while I'm waiting on... No, I want my bow, but I need the, the hunting cabin for that. Um, might as well... I wanted to say cut some more trees, but... Yeah, might as well. Chopping down the forest. That's what we do around here. Yeah, you've got a whole bunch of uh, structural lumber cranking away, so... All right, and we've got plenty of food as well in the chest in my house, so feel free to eat berries and roots. I, I like, to, like to eat the uh, gambus. Oh, yeah, um, the, the, uh, cam yeah, camus bulbs. Yeah, they, they give a, a little bit more fullness. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. They're five, yeah, they're five times as many calories as the blueberries. My body mass is going up. I'm getting fat. I'm eating a little bit just to get my skill multiplier up. Um, but you also have to watch out. If you see, this is now uh, in yellow, my calories. And that means my body mass is um, yeah, about to go up. Like Rongo said. We get our yeah, mill going. We can make wheat, uh, wheat flour. We can make blueberry pies. I don't think it's a thing, but <laughs> what, what, where's my structural lumber? Last I saw, it was still cooking away. Oh, there it is. Yeah, 
Now, should I do the top? The, so the fourth row up should be the roof. Uh, what's the height on uh, the the height requirement? It is height three. Uh, in cl uh, three. Yeah. yeah. So the, the the roof can be on the fourth level, or but since you're already building it, we could either uh, put it on the fifth. So just finish this wall segment up. Well, or it'll, see, it'll seem some it. wonder if I don't. Yeah, true. So I'll, I'll just help you uh, hammer it away. Um, and I don't think there is a way for you to actually drop items on the floor. No, we got put. You go through the chest, I think. Yeah. So uh, I, I wanted to say, uh, if you give me some roof sack. Oops. Uh, did I just do that? Yes, I did. I'll just replace it. Oh, that's fine. That one in the corner. That was yeah. just a. It was a mistake earlier. Anyway, I didn't want to put the table here, but this is the only place it would drop. So. Ah. It might be a size thing as well. I don't, I don't know how big the. What she said. <laughs> um, yeah. Twenty-one seconds until I get my my roof sec segments are behind a little bit. Now the 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 thing I regret most, or not regret, but I I I would like to see changed first is um, that you can have multiple chests in one building. Yeah. It, it, that is especially for the house. Yeah, and the storeroom as well. It's just the same building, different material. But you have to build this entire house just for that one small chest, and there's no way to place a new chest next to it. You have all this yeah. space, but no way to place an extra chest. Yeah, so that's want, not yeah, good. If you want more, no, if you want more storage, you have to build another building. That's a little bit, uh, yeah. Uh, so I need 27 more. That that would be a good way to go for seven days to die, though. Build a building for every chest you want. <laughs> that would certainly slow down the game. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the way they seem to be going, so uh, yeah. slowing the game down. Uh... Okay, so I got all my roof segments. Very nice. I keep, I keep hitting escape to leave the uh, crafting area. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty glad that they uh, gave or put in the option if you leave the area that the the windows close. Yeah. But if they they really need some hotkeys for that, like I for inventory and B for yeah. blue, blueprints, etc. etc. Et uh, I do not have any roof segments, so I can't help you with this. That's okay. So this will be really quickly done, I think. Come on, target. You have to put another row. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Sorry. I'm yeah, not just meddling. Not meddling. Just, Sorry. That's okay. It's just being the key. Go yep. in the hole. Excuse me? What? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's complete without that, but yeah, it's not real, really complete. Here's my hammer. Targeting needs to be improved a little bit. Ah, can you knock out? There's a couple of uh, roof segments yeah, here. Yeah, I'm, I'm on it. Okay. Ah, I'm giving you some more, I think. Ah, you can just use those and finish up the, out, the last layer. <laughs> That's one way to uh, share supplies. Oh, yeah. Yep. There we go. That should be it. Yep. And now I can finish the building and let's see what happens with this table. Woohoo! Yeah, it could have. Yeah, it could have fit. Alright, so what can we build with this thing? Uh, a bow and arrows, but I'm, I'm crafting up a bow. <laughs> okay, and the butcher skill book. 
Uh, which yeah, we needs need meat. That. So we got to get meat first. Yeah. Um, and you have to craft the arrows individually. Okay, we need some raw stone. Uh, I found some in your inventory, so I'm okay. going to haul those over. Just take a few of them so that I got... Oh, you can't split uh, the stack yet. At least not that I know of. I'm um, crafting up 20 arrows. So once both our bows are done, um, we'll have 10 arrows each. Marvelous. And then we can go hunting. We'll go hunting in the next episode, though. Yeah, Since um, we have uh, a waiting list of 30 minutes now on this uh, Fletcher table, so... Oh, yeah, so we gotta wait. <laughs> Alright, guys, well, we're gonna probably do a little exploring off camera. Uh, not exploring, let's say, but building or constructing or... Uh, we'll do things uh, while we yes. wait for our materials to be ready. And when we come back on uh, the next episode, we'll have our bows, we'll go hunting and get our meat so we can start our butcher shop. Ooh. Yay! So again, oh, if you guys are interested in joining us uh, on a kind of uh, mini-series of Eco, just drop a note in our comments below. Those of you who have already expressed interest, thank you very much. We will uh, put everyone's names in a hat and uh, pull from that, and we'll, we'll figure this out. So thanks a lot for watching. Thank you!